Thank you for visiting the help desk at Redline Controls. This two-part series will examine the features and benefits of the modular controller series. Part one will discuss how the modular controller is put into operation and some of its features. Part two will discuss how to configure the controller with Crimson configuration software. The Modular Controller's Configuration Software, Crimson, is available for free download at www.modularcontroller.com. This presentation will examine how to properly configure a modular controller with Crimson software. Crimson software is as easy as four steps. First, open the software and double-click on the yellow rectangles to create new modules. From here, you can see the choices of modules to choose from. Once you have selected as many modules as your application requires, you move to step two, double-clicking on the modules themselves to configure the process. Step 3 takes us into the communications section. Double click on the appropriate communications port to configure this port. From here, you first select the appropriate driver of the device you are communicating with. Next, you select the Blocks tab to configure your data. Drag and drop data mapping gives you the flexibility to configure only what data needs to be configured. Define a starting point. Define the size of each block. Find appropriate data and drag and drop to whatever register you choose.
and with the driver selected, the data will be formatted automatically to the appropriate language. So step four, download to the unit. Connect the communications cable and your system is now complete. Once again, we at Redline Control thank you for using our help desk. If you need any further assistance, please visit our website at www.redline-control.com for the latest news, new product information, technical specifications, application solutions, and much, much more.